except for maybe angler face here. Fish face. He looks kind of sad. He looks really depressed. Hey, 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 it's Kronos here, and welcome to Stellaris. Happy New Year, guys! Woo! No, no, nothing. Okay. Anyway, this is a game that was presented to me originally by a friend of mine who also does YouTube. I've mentioned him in a previous video. His name is Pyra Firestone. He's a great YouTuber. He does a lot of videos on a game very similar to this one, but enough about that. This is a 4x space adventure game, and no, by 4x I do not be the beer, but that would be awesome. I played the game a little bit with Pyra, just to try and get a feel for the game, and to see if it would be a good game for this video. And so that means I am a little bit experienced on what's going on, so don't expect too much flailing. Actually, expect a lot of flailing, I still have no idea what the hell. And I also made an empire, but I've deleted that empire, and I'm creating a new one now. Because you make your entire empire in the galaxy, and you rule over everything. Okay. With that out of the way, new game. You see, you've got all the different empires and stuff. You can actually... Hold up, hold up. The best part about this entire game, the races are completely diverse. You got everything from regular humanoids to fungoids. These things. You can literally play as a living mushroom baby arms. Is that not awesome? Anyway, I'm going to be creating a new empire from scratch, because, come on, and it's a 4x adventure game. You have to make it your own. So I'll be right back once I've created the empire. Go on, guys. Nothing can beat that. That just looks awesome. And, except for maybe angler face here. Fish face. He looks kind of sad. He looks really depressed. Welcome back, guys, and welcome to the Divine Council of Kronos. Okay, the Divine Council of Kronos is a species... Well, it's actually the Empire's name. The species is called the Kronosapiens. Why? Well, anyone smart enough will be able to figure it out. Let's see if you can figure this out, hey? It's a species of lizard-like creatures called Chronosapiens who live on an arid world called Emporio. Fun fact, the word Emporio actually means trade in Greek, I believe. And I'm planning on making the Divine Council of Kronos a rather pacifistic and not violent sort of... Empire. So, yeah. Oh, we have the first leader of the Divine Council of Kronos, the mystic Zoz. Zoz. Um, th that was a randomly generated name. I didn't, I didn't make that name. That was completely randomly generated. The game itself figured that the name Zoz is so boss, it deserves to be a part of the- it deserves to be the first leader of the Divine Council of Kronos. That is awesome. Um, this is our flag, which just looks absolutely boss. Like, look at that. Look at it. Um, we're gonna start off using mass drivers, which are basically just turrets that shoot projectiles really, really fast. In fact, there's a description there, if you want, you can pause the video. We're using hyperspace travel, which, again, description there, but for everyone who's not willing to pause the video. Basically, hyperspace travel is where you... To travel faster than light, you, ju you jump into a different dimension where everything's compressed together 
and you travel in that dimension, then you jump back to our dimension, and you're actually millions of miles, billions of miles further away from the thing you were than if you stayed in that dimension. That's hyperspace. And then we have the avian ships, which just look awesome. Like, look at that. Okay, um, then we have our, all our stuff. We are, the Chrono Sapiens are intelligent, charismatic, intelligent and charismatic conservationists, but they have their limits, li limits, they're slow learners, and they're not really willing to give up home. It's kind of sad. It's kind of heartbreaking. Anyway, that is the Divine Council of Chronos. Now, I was going to say let's begin, but... You know what? Whatever, let's just play, okay? Finally, we're getting into the game. Although this has probably only been like a few minutes for you guys. Don't hold me on that, I don't know how I'm going to edit the video later. In the eons since the first primitive Chromo sapiens communities took shape in the dry canyons of Mesa, uh, dry canyons and mesas of Emporio, our civilization has spread and prospered. Great achievements were made, both in in the advancement of science and on the spiritual plane, as we sought to expand our own understanding of the universe and the role we play in it. A council of our most learned priests was conceived to advise advise our elected leaders a, a tradition that continues to this day now after the discovery of hyperlane networks the finest minds of the divine council of chronos have finished the development of the first hyperdrives these stars themselves are finally within our grasp so i would Arab preference. Oh yeah, so they prefer to be in places that are like their home world, which is this Arab thing. This is the mighty Emporio. I don't know how it's moving, considering the whole game's paused. But this is the mighty Emporio. Like I said, okay, there's normally a um, guy that pops up from time to time and like tells you, gives you all the tips and stuff for how to play the game, but clearly he's not here, and I've played the game before, so let's just jump right into it, shall we? Okay. First. Day. Play. Okay. Also, you should probably leave it on the faster speed, or at least fast, for the entire time. By the way, guys, this game actually costs nearly $30, so I'm kind of breaking my budget here. But I had some Christmas money that's left over, so I decided, you know what, give it a shot, hey? And it's actually a really fun game, even from just what I've played, so give it a, so give it a shot, guys. Okay. Oh, this is the, techno this is the technological advancement screen, so you get a bunch of guys, a bunch of people of your race, or not even your race, he doesn't have to be your race, don't be racist, um, to research stuff. And then when they finish researching it, you get whatever that thing is. So, for example, we're currently in engineering. This guy's going to research our real re resicux. is going to research an improved spaceport, because Improved spaceports will mean you can build better stuff, basically. In society, they're going to research orbital hydroponics, it, which unlocks the farms in space. Space farming. Um, and then, oh, Zarax is going to deflectors. We can just, like, fire the lasers back. Now then, what we can do is we get our science ship, the AUS Seedly, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm just going to change that to Seedly, can I change that? 
It's the, it's the AUS Seedly. Seedly! With Saz as leader. And we're going to get him to survey our entire solar system. And he's and what he's going to do. If we can hold on. He's going to fly around the solar system. And ah. Uh, and just study everything. He's going to study our sun, see if there's anything there. And then he's gonna study. He's going to study Shka. 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 And its moon. Ba. Ba. Buffish. Buffish. Shka and Buffish. God, I love the solar system. <laughs> and then he'll come back close to our world and study the close by moon of Zirichi, Zirichi and the gas giant that we're orbiting, orbiting, called Zorichi. So it's Zirichi and Zorichi, and then uh, Emporio, because, come on, come on, you can't have Zirichi, Zorichi, and, I don't know, Zarichi. Zarichizia. <laughs> Correction, it would be Zarichizia, but I didn't know it would be there. This is a barren world, which lies within the Divine Council of Kronos. And then, yeah, he's going to study everything and we'll have a deeper understanding of the fabric of time and space. Oh, also, in case you haven't, in case you haven't noticed yet, for Christmas I got a brand new gaming mouse. Which has awesome lights, for one thing. It also has side buttons and it's just easier to use than this trackpad here. Just so much easier to use. Okay. And now then, now then. So once he's finished, so once he's finished surveying the system, we'll get a little notification that says he's finished surveying the system. Until then, um, see what we can do. Ooh, module slot. That was boring. Um, build cube. Build science ship and construction ship. Good to have a lot of science and construction ships. I mean, you can get a lot of um, um, people for your fleets, but you don't really have to. And you're not being if you're not going to be a warlike race. Admiral Xildor, or Admiral Xildor. I have a very tough choice to make, guys. Do I go with? Do I recruit Admiral Xildor or Admiral Xildor? Red or blue? Do I take the red pill or the blue pill? Oh, 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 oh. I take the blue pill. He's a trickster. He's a trickster. Oh, but... Oh, but he's got a puppy. Nah, I'm taking the jester. I'm taking the jester. Gotta have the jester. And then... Assign him to my fleet. The Ravenous Star Hunters. I don't even need to change that name. That is an awesome name. Construction complete. Oh! Woohoo! Yay, we've completed everything, and this is our construction ship. Um, what's my guy doing? Uh... Like I said, too, um, my friend, Pyro Firestone, who's way more popular than me, no doubt, um, he's actually got this game as well, so, let me know what you, let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see me, I know you guys haven't seen a whole lot, but by the end of the video, would you like to see me and Pyro sit down and play this game together? System survey complete. Fully surveyed. I now know everything about the solar system that I exist in, including Robo. Robo. Sounds like a dog. Robo. Um. So yeah, what do you guys think? Would you like to see me and Pyra sit down and play this game multiplayer together sometime? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.
save and game. Okay. And then the other thing, you, the other cool thing you can do, well, it's not the other cool thing, there's tons of cool things you can do in this game, but one of the other cool things is you can build mining stations. Or just stations in general, and target acquired. <laughs> and then that will mine out these three energy credits, which are used here. Energy credits is an energy backed currency accepted by all spacefaring races. So this is money. This is basically money. Okay, um. Oh, check this out. This is the Chronos Sapien. This is the Divine Council of Chronos. This is the galaxy. Where, where are we in the grand scheme of things? What is our place in this galaxy? That is the question that we shall find out today on the Divine Council of Chronos. I am so destined to be a um, narrator or something. Okay, what's around us? Oh, we could go off into the unknown, or we could go to Zirkwa. Zirkwa. You can also survey other solar systems to try and find out as much as you can about them. What is that? They're just dots in space. There's just dots in space. Um, well, we should probably send our other science ship, the AUS Xeverex, 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 I do what is it with lizards and having really weird names for things? Construction complete. Has completed the description. Construction of that, yep. Expertise particles. Sure, why not? Come on in, Carbo. Carbo. Carbloxy. We've got lots to learn, things to explore. Fun to be had. So now he's going to go over and survey this system. But first, we have to see some epicness. Watch closely, guys, for this is what years and years of working and tough times has brought to us, the knowledge of the hyperlane space travel. That was a complete solar system jump. That's pretty darn fast. Okay, we have our entire place of... Whoa, 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 what? So we have all the unique names of the Zikwe system, Zikwe system, including the star, Zikwe, Zikwe 1, Zikwe 2, Zikwe 4, and Zikwa 3. Not in order or anything. No, 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 no. It's not like Zikwa 1 is the closest to the star. Actually, actually, I think that is the order. Holy hell, that is the order. Okay, I stand corrected. People are actually... These people are actually smarter than humans. Wow. Awesome. Also, if they find something strange on a planet, they'll... They'll discover an anomaly, which hopefully should happen in this episode at least, if not this system. But yeah, if they discover an anomaly, you can research it and find out that there was an ancient alien race of fat people. So system that survey once. complete. Damn it. Okay. Now we can go into the traditions bit. We must expand our civilization to new systems and planets, or risk eventual extinction. If we do not imp 
impose our will on others, they will inev inevitably impose theirs on us. There is no better indicator of the success or failure of a star nation than the strength of its economy. Few things, few things that ma can match the strength of a content populace working towards a common goal. The future of the galaxy belongs to those who are strong enough to seize it. Yeah. The surest way to destroy your enemies is to make them your friends. That's deep. Our curiosity about the universe is what got us this far, and there's still so much left to discover. Okay, I'm adopting the diplomacy, because that sounds good. Uh, okay, return home, my people. Okay, so this is basically just a planet of dead stuff. Like, seriously, there's nothing here for us. The toxic wild. Seriously, all of these planets are barren. I just went to the worst place you could possibly go to for this sort of thing. Okay, um, well, um, everybody, return home. Let's see what else it is. Okay, there's short. See, he's a barren planet. I reckon this one's also a barren planet. What about this guy? Hey! Don't ever talk to me or my son ever again. Seriously, seriously, like, Scar, Bapish, Bapish, Scar, Bapish. It's literally father and son here. Okay, we should search that. Global energy management. That will be useful. Okay, um, we should also get to constructing a mining station here, and constructing the mining station here. Just so that we can have all the resources we can when we eventually meet alien life. Because we're going to meet alien life, that's a thing in this. Okay, now then, I reckon it's time to head into the unknown. Which I apparently can't do. Oh, I, I like how this, like, shows how far up it is compared to the flat surface. Like, all these stars are different lengths up compared to the flat surface that they're meant to be on. Like, this one's down, this one's up, this one's down, this one's up. It's, it really shows the perspective, like, how space isn't actually just a 2D object. It's space, it's everything, it's spinning, it's 3D, it's up and down and left and right and everything. And I say, explore. But first, science ship, Zeedly. Zeedly! Zeedly, go explore to your heart's content. I'm going to follow Zeedly on its merry adventure. Zeedly. Survey. Survey the unknown system. Seedly. Seedly with its leader, Zaz. Zaz. Seriously, I do not know how to pronounce these names. Is it Zaz? Zaz. 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 Why? Why, people? I thought I raised you better than this. You know, for people worshipping such a divine entity, they really do not know how to name stuff. Oh, it's a red star. Okay, you can tell this is a Zabine. You can tell this is a Zabine system by the fact that it's all Zabine I V A Zabine I V. Oh, sorry, V I. Zabine two. Zabine two A. 
Zabine 1. Ooh. We currently cannot colonize this world. <gasps> it's a dry climate! Which means we, it's an arid world! We can colonize it once it's been surveyed. We can expand beyond our empire. Into the stars. We can go where no man has ever gone before. That is our dream. Um, genome mapping, planetary unification. Planetary unification? That sounds good. Uh, okay. I reckon. Oh! Ooh! What was that noise? The AUS Zeedly. Zeedly! Has made a startling find on Zabine 1. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Emporio. The amazing discovery has silenced those who believed we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on Zabine 1 are sapient. 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 It is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. We may not be alone out there. I'm sorry, what's sapient? Oh, now this is a tough decision to make. Do I, do I colonize the world, or do I mine it? Or do I do both? And the other thing is, you can go onto the surface. Contact report, simple forms of life. What the hell is that language? The Divine Council of Kronos is a buzz with news of alien organisms discovered by the AUS Zedley some time ago. Chronosapien theologism has been partaking in arcane rites since the first sign that Divine Province extends outside of Emporio, attempting to find new answers. Understood. So yeah, you can colonize these planets and when we found an anomaly um an abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly amongst above this moon what moon what moon what moon where the massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relied on solar power to function. Failure risk 10% or only level 1. So we just found that... So in the same solar system, we found alien life and an alien spacecraft that's supposedly abandoned. Go on team, go on Kronos. Research. Play. And he just goes, mute. Okay. The barren world. It's also a barren world by the looks of it. Don't ever talk to me or my son ever again. Okay, back to Darth Nar. Return home, Rabel. Solar Sailor. We have discovered an abandoned solar ship in orbit around Zabine VA. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tail where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteorite, a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does not it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. An interesting, albeit primitive, design. Well, there's no way that you can say that that thing evolved to be there. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. I reckon I'll end. The, I reckon I'll end the episode once we have successfully colonized Zabine One.
Intelligent life taunts with pointed absence. Reads a popular news, uh, news net post on Emporio. The people of the Divine Council of Kronos are apparently finding some humour in the fact that lower life, for, lower life forms of aliens are now a matter of public record, but potential equals from other stars continue to elude us. Science officer Xaz reports on the traces found on Zabine VA, seemingly only add an ironic twist to the situation. Once we've successfully colonised Zabine 1, I will, I will end the episode. Until then, let's build a colony ship so I can colonize it. And build some corvettes too. I mean, we're just about to discover alien life. We want to be able to fight it if it so it comes to it. Oh, this is the surface of the world. This is where you build things to harness resources and create new life so that you can extend beyond the reaches of the solar system. But cool, huh? System survey complete. Oh, completely surveyed the system. Woohoo! Okay, so, okay, Seedly, you spent enough time here. Return home. Let's check how our empire's going, okay? It's looking pretty good. Once you've colonized a planet successfully, the empire will expand and grow bigger. And then you can find other empires out there who are even bigger than yours and just get freaked out because they're probably going to kill you soon and ah um <laughs> so yeah that is Stellaris ladies and gentlemen um now we should build some mining ships mine out the resources here tile blocker cleared oh yay we cleared that we successfully cleared that tile Not within our borders. Oh, you have to. It has to be. Okay, so we have to colonize the planet before we can actually. So we have to colonize the planet before we can lay claim to anything within the solar system. That makes sense, I suppose. Anything interesting happening in Zikwia? Zikwia? Seriously, this is the most boring solar system ever. Like, seriously. All the planets are barren except for one, which is toxic. I mean, I guess it would be a cool solar system for space battles and stuff. But, until we get up to that point. Like, this is actually a really fun game, guys. We have 100 days to go. Which is not a lot of time, really. Until then, I know what we can do. You can design your own ships in this game. Yeah, I know. Oops, you can sort of design them. Like, it's real. It's not really designing them so much as like just choosing parts for, like, choosing how they look and adding parts in. Like for example, you can add reflectors in here. Um, add fission reactor here. To give it a lot of punch. First, bop, and then in here there's nothing to add. So save the design name as Synthizo Class Corvette. Ah, uh, save, and then cons oh the colony ship. We have to make the colony ship look our own. You know. The primary purpose of this, of this colony ship, is to keep the people inside it safe. So we don't want people getting afraid that they're going to die. 
because of they have they have to what I'm saying is they have to feel safe. They have to feel like they're not going to get blown up by alien creatures. And hey, here we are, we've got our colony ship. Now then, Mr. Colony Ship, we need you to colonize an alien world. Colonize Zabine One. Now then, we place our first building down to decide where we're first going to get life, where we're first going to settle. And go for the food, go for the energy, or we could go for the minerals. What do you guys think? It's food. I say food. Zabine Prime. Doesn't really have a nice ring to it. Raw. Hold on. It was. What was it? Law. Law Prime. The Law Prime. Okay. And then that play and then that ship is going to sail. A scientist has gained a level. Yay. Oh, and we've gained a level. Research complete. Yeah, sure. Okay. Research complete. Improves the base craft. Powered endoskeleton. Exoskeleton. Nano composition materials. I feel like I should be playing the defensive more than the offensive. So, yeah. Once this guy successfully lands down, touches down. Well, congratulations, people. People of my Chrono Sapien Empire, the Divine Council of Chronos, we have gone above and beyond and conquered the stars. We have gone beyond our planet and into life in other words. I have no idea how that was meant to go down, but our colony ship has gently touched down atop of a large flat Mesa near the equator of Raw Prime. Raw Prime. This location will serve well as a first landing site, and the rivers that flow in the canyons below provide easy access to fresh water, which is really needed on an arid world like Raw Prime. Raw. The ship has been permanently converted into an administrative headquarters of the new state settlement, and its reactor core is the process of is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents are, and prefab shelters have sprung up and around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first chrono sapien city on an alien world. A great day for the divine council of chronos. Congratulations, people. We have successfully colonized other worlds. We are no longer restricted to just Emporio. And, on that note, I reckon this is a good place to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I'm terribly sorry that I haven't been able to post any videos up in a while, but I will try my very hardest to make the videos more common. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely play at least one more at least one more episode of this before I move on to any other games. Mainly because I don't have any other games to move on to yet. But also because this is a really fun game and I definitely recommend it to anyone out there. But as always, see you in the next episode. Au revoir, amigos!